Digital Nomads 1. Do not pay tax in South Africa. The Department of Home Affairs has drafted an amendment to the immigration bill mm -hmm. and they are proposing that we have digital nomad visas and this is the time for citizens to actually have a say. Damn! <laughs> I sorry zooms, I'm cutting. I just remembered the guy with team, yeah. Gerard. <laughs> <Who tried? laughs> Imagine having a name like that in this team. And you many tavern owners, uh, they were ordered to pay five thousand rand fine uh all face hundred days. Um all face hundred days in prison. Sixty percent of businesses that are owned in the UK. I, I don't know if it touched on turnover, but majority of them make like eight eight million dollars. They are mostly owned by baby boomers. Big Jam. Zooms, what's up, Maji? We're on episode 7. 57. 57. 57. 57. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ukraine. The seventh episode this year. The seventh episode yes. this year, season two. Season two. If you're new to the episode, of course, you know who it is. Um, shooty, um, shooty is in the building. Boop, boop, and your boy, Lebohang. I now go in full. <laughs> eh? sophisticated. Oh, you're in full now. <laughs> in full. Oh, Mcha we must sophisticated you. China. Yeah. Yeah. We That's must what it is. You. Yes, yes. Aye, nice. Let's keep on. Um, there's a lot going on. I mean, I actually have. I don't know. Actually, there's something going on on Twitter right now. There's. um, There's a. Li uh, this is a couple. Yes, there's you a video it. of that couple, yeah, right? There's yeah. a couple that posted a video of themselves, uh -huh. and I think the lady is asking for like a red bull or something. Yeah. And she's so calm. Hey, baby, hey, she's hey. so calm. Hey, that situation made me want to fall in love. <laughs> it looks so cute. But it's just for the cameras, bro. Okay, yeah, I yeah, mean, we I talked think, about I it, think right? it's just for the cameras. She would have like, acted differently. I'm begging on my camera. Okay, so yeah, uh, true, true. Yeah. I think we're going to leave that one for now. Let's leave it <laughs> hanging. <laughs> Let's leave it hanging. But there's a discourse happening. You know, there's people just saying that, like, there's a, 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 I think a, a misunderstanding, I don't know what it is, but so ladies are saying, um, you know, we're going to act right uh -huh. only if the gent is masculine enough, we are born and masculine enough, you know? I, I think everyone has an excuse, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, each other might not uh, do what you, what you would like them to do, Sure. but if they like you or they love you, they can do whatever. Same okay. applies to guys. But not all guys cheat. But but if you find your right person, the cheating is done. Okay, true. So this situation when I, is that is that your discourse? Yeah, it? that's my discourse. I think she's just acting for the cameras. Yes, she might be calm. Okay. Oh, she's probably hungover. I wonder about it's close to the to month end. But anyway, um, that's just part of the conversations that have. But there's also something else happening. And it's all the way in the other country, the one uh, in the, in the is, is it north, west, south? Yeah, in the south of, of South Africa. Okay. Yeah, in the Cape, right, down there at the bottom by the, by the blue oceans, the cold waters down there. Wait, Cape Town? Cape Town, yeah. Oh. Apparently there's nomads and stuff like that. That's a country on its own. Eh? It is. Eh? But at least for, for that, because I don't know much about it, at least we have someone that knows a bit more. Sure, yeah. So I'm just going to unpack it yeah. for all those that don't know what digital nomads no, are. Oh. Uh, you've just been seeing it on Instagram and Twitter and you feel like, ooh, Sabawel. But she's Sabawel, something you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. And there's been a lot of discussion. I mean, there's many opinions about it. And yeah. I, of course, Black Twitter is going to have an opinion on everything and there's, there's going to be a division. Yeah. And I'm glad we have Akona Ndungane, not mm. the rugby player. Oh, I thought it was the rugby player. I thought. <laughs> no, I had to say not the rugby player. I think in the introduction, she told us not yeah. to say the rugby player. Yeah, I think uh, if you watched last week, ep last week's episode, episode yes. she, she showed up, she blessed us. Sure, yeah. And this week, she's, she's back with more. Hey? She's back with more. Yeah. yeah, so definitely, we have Akona Ndungane in the building today on Spaza Talk. I think you guys definitely need to give her a digital round of applause. Mm -hmm. She's going to break it down for us what digital nomads are and what are you guys even saying on twitter because mm -hmm. man you guys are saying a lot of things Akona? Hola. come bless us yeah please come bless us uh with your presence and please tell us what are these digital nomads that people are talking about these days um, I'm, i mean is it anyone that travels to another country <laughs> so a digital nomad please come a bit closer to the mic yeah 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 thank you that's perfect 
It's a very cute mic. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a> cute <laughs> mic. <laughs> you could get a tattoo of this. It will look cute. So Ooh. a digital nomad is somebody who can work remotely from from anywhere in the world. And I air quotes that in terms of South Africa is now the latest place that people who have the privilege of working from home from anywhere are influxing. Yeah. Bali had it. Uh, Mexico's had it. South Africa's next. Okay. So now I'm not expert on the matter. Traveling is nice, but I'm a tourist. I get a tourist visa. She's well traveled. <laughs> Actually, we forgot to say this. But I was about to ask her if just d- dive deep into the, like how many countries she's been to. Oh wow! Oh. I have been to all continents except Antarctica. Uh, once upon a time, in a 12-month straight period, I traveled to about 32 cities and islands around the world. Oh. And so now we're talking my... to an expert right now. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a nomad yourself. <laughs> I've been a traveler. Oh, okay, oh. Traveler. Experiencing okay. places, not extracting from places, giving Ooh. and returning. So there's a difference. There is a huge difference. So as I said, I'm no expert, but I am an active and interested citizen because South Africa does not have a digital nomad visa. Mm. So we have a tourist visa and I believe Americans can come to South Africa for a three month period uninterrupted and they are now staying and working Long. from South Africa. Hmm. Now the challenge is... Is it because nobody finds a way to get them out or they just decide to stay? Like, wh- how does They it just work? decide to stay. They, they can overstay their visas. So they are they illegal immigrants basically? Essentially. That's exactly what it is. However, why this is topical right now is because the Department of Home Affairs has drafted an amendment to the immigration bill Mm -hmm. and they are proposing that we have digital nomad visas and this is the time for citizens to actually have a say Mm -hmm. and they so they gazette what their amendment bill is Mm -hmm. um, and us as citizens are allowed to write an email a paragraph or two with your opinion. So don't keep your opinion at Black Twitter. Yes. You write to the Department <laughs> of Home Affairs. Sure. I'll give you the email Individually, address. Individually, all of us. All of us. We yeah. have this time up until the 29th of March, 2024. Our opinion is going to be accepted, read, and then the law or the policy will be written. So, so here's I, my I, I, I keep disturbing you. No, I have my, so many questions on this. Go. Can you please give me your opinion first, actually? Please, please. My opinion? Yeah, you. It's an absolute no. So the reason I say it's an absolute no is, let's take Cape Town as an example. Yeah. yeah. Digital nomads, one, do not pay tax in South Africa. Mm. So they That's work bad. from South Africa, but they pay their taxes to their home countries. If you got a work visa to South Africa, your taxes would be paid to South Africa. Africa. Sure, yeah. So if we are going to allow a digital nomad visa, then they taxes must be paid. Yes, yeah. because we are contributing to our roads, yep. our hospitals. For sure. As you know, our healthcare is free if you go that route. Yeah. Um, all of our services that are paid for by tax, we will have an influx of visitors working from here, mm-hmm. using our resources, but not contributing. Hmm. Housing. Housing is already a crisis. Especially in that other country. Especially in that other country, (laughs) right? So, one, we don't have um, laws that uh, have, what is it called? Where you limit how much rent can be paid for a particular uh, area. Uh, We've got no laws around that. Anyone can charge anything for rental. So what an influx of so-called digital nomads will do is that they will rent out all of the available properties. The prices will skyrocket. It's like what, what's happening in London right Correct. now. Correct. Yeah. Is that gentrification or something? That is yeah. Exactly okay. yeah. So that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. And it's neocolonialism at the same time. But wait, hold on. I mean, we've got like all these people online. They've got videos. And like I think they, a lot of them are coming up now. We've got seeing on their TikTok telling us how it is nice to live in South Africa and blah, blah, blah. I mean, that person is showing in their face. Can't we go to them and be like, hey, we're not. So it, it does grow. also depend. Are they working? Can we prove that they are working? And okay, let's say they are working. So now we have to prove that they're contributing to the economy. Is that what we... But that is why we need to tell the Department of yeah. Affairs, hey, we don't mind your bill, but can I ask you to look at gentrification? How do you protect locals okay. and properties? How do you tax a yeah. digital nomad yeah. so that our visitors who are coming beyond tourism 
because the tourism visitors are contributing to our economy yeah. and how the country it jobs how the, the country is perceived and their experiences which is amazing yeah. but they're here in legal terms as tourists and their visas true True. digital nomad visas we need to ask the department of home affairs to amend their bill to go okay cool we don't mind these people being here and working from here tax yeah how do we protect locals and housing how do we maybe not everyone in the cbd working from just this area. what if yeah. you spread them out yeah. to other areas or like other countries we go right no business can be done in this area this is a residential area yes. and we start putting in those protections so there are so many ideas because like looking at just the property prices in cape town already locals can afford cape town locals, yeah. locals yeah. can't but now can i can i just pose you you both of you even the question because it's happening in Makasi everywhere yeah yeah uh, where we've got for foreign people that are there illegally how does that conversation then how can they apply for a nomad visa too <laughs> so <laughs> what I love is the classism in your question <laughs> yeah. because we like to call people from African countries Foreign. e- foreigners, yeah. Sure, yeah. immigrants, yeah. and and the xenophobia that, that comes, comes with the show, with yeah, because either you don't have the money, the education, blah blah blah. This is the exact same concept. Exactly, you yeah. Have shown up without the right papers, and you are potentially doing something illegal. It's just that our laws might be a little mm. bit easy to loophole. But it's the same concept. Emakasi, uh, the so-called illegal immigrants, sure, the yeah. undocumented sure, people. Yeah. Sure. This is the exact same thing. Exactly. Just, Somebody would just say that, that. The economy says that, well, you're cute. You can go online <laughs> and you can go, I'm a digital nomad. And it's okay. No, you're an illegal immigrant. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh if, 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 if we're being Some honest about it. Right? so cheap. You can do ABC. Hi, that's neocolonialism. Mm. This is crazy. So we have to sign the bill or say email the department of? Department of Home Affairs. So the email address where our opinions are requested is, uh, is it Louvo? Let me quickly find it. So this is somebody that we can, I can go on right now my email and type, hi Louvo. Uh, on my opinion on these digital nomads is that I feel like they should pay tax in South Africa. Yes. Don't say Mabaham. <laughs> <laughs> Because, no, I don't think they will. I don't think they will. Yes, I don't think they will. Yes, South Africa is such a cosmopolitan place and it caters to everything. Sinobun. Yeah. Sinobun to the people. Anywhere you go in the world and as a well-traveled person, mm-hmm. you don't find <laughs> people as amazing as South Africans. Yeah. Of course. You don't find landscapes as amazing as South Africa. Yeah. Sure, yeah. You don't find food as delicious as South African food. Everything here is beautiful. Mm. Yes, we, we used to be a country. <laughs> but we can be better sure. and we are amazing. So if visitors do want to come here, let's do it right. Let's 100%. let's also protect locals. Let's yeah. let's limit rentals, for example. Mm-hmm. A one bedroom cannot cost twenty five thousand rand a month. Guys, I saw something. Nope. Size of this tent. Nope. I saw something in Cape Town. It was this one room. It has a it had a bathroom there. Uh, their shower and their little kitchen and their bed and that thing was like six something k or something like that that's crazy but that's not for locals yeah it's, it's, it's not for locals it's, it's for their digital out. nomads we are completely priced out mm. of our own country and already as black people we feel like visitors in our own country mm-hmm. this is another level for sure yeah especially in cape town hey, especially hey. in cape town and it is happening across the country it's just that right now classism in terms of economy goes oh let's do a digital nomad yeah what are you doing for our brothers and sisters yep. next door sure, how yeah. do we make their immigration easier yep. and for them to also partake in the economy and also get their right papers but in any case with regards to this amendment to the current immigration bill where department of home affairs would like us to give our opinion you send the email to luvo.vena at dha.gov.za so that's alpha love u-v-o dot V E N for November A at D H A dot org. I mean dot gov dot ZA. Dot ZA. Gov, dot ZA. We'll definitely put that in the in the, in the description for you guys. Dot gov dot ZA. And you just send your opinion. You say yes I want it or no I don't and some of your reasons. There are a few creators on Twitter and on TikTok. We've actually given some templates. Mm-hmm. 
it's easy. So can I just ask this before we let you go? And thank you for coming here. I think it's been it's been a little bit, it's been very insightful. Yeah. I want to ask now for the guys, Jobas Kulmile, Abanto Makas, the same guys we're saying are illegal immigrants in Makasi and they're trading and they're doing businesses. In my email, how can I include them? Because I feel like those are my brothers and sisters too, and I want them well, you send involved. Your opinion. You send your opinion and you say further to this, we need to take considerations for different areas different places of work, different uh, residential areas, and how what your opinion is to immigration sure. and allowing people to participate in South Africa legally. Yeah. And making it easy, giving them access, sure. education around it. Sure, of course. So why can't the Department of Home Affairs do a campaign, just like we had our HIV campaigns mm-hmm. of the, the 90s? What is, how do we assist each other to Luti. Cross, cross the <laughs> 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 there was money for that campaign, but someone <laughs> did it tell vibes. Yeah. That's all I'll say. <laughs> did you tell vibes? Interesting. Like, really great chatting. Akwana, Amazing. thank you so much. Thank we'll, you. we'll definitely put your socials on the uh, in the description below. But thank you so much to Akwana for coming to the podcast. Definitely, definitely check it out. Check it out. Um, it really has been amazing. But yeah, it lives. Wow. What an insightful conversation. Man. That's why I was like, yo, let's call an expert in this field. Because, hey, I don't know anything about these digital nomads. The only thing I know is digital vibes. (laughs) 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 You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Hey, but really interesting. Shout out to our corner. Definitely check check it out on the social media platforms. We'll put our details in here. What an interesting conversation. And I don't know where you guys stand. I, I mean, I know we're probably going to have a bigger discussion offline on this. But my opinion on this is like, as I was trying to allude to, to this, it's been happening quite a lot, Emma Gassi, um, where people are opening Emma Spaza shops and we're calling them illegal immigrants. But what about the people in Cape Town doing exactly the same thing? It was it, Bay. last week. go to Mashonisa and a bank. The loan thing. It's different. It is, it's a it's a dog. And a witch. And a, what in it? What's in it? Yeah, it's just English makes it packaging yeah. so nice. Yes, yes. It's a, uh, what is it? Traditional doctor and a nanny? Ah, uh, it's Kulumanga and it's Kulumanga. We were talking about witches. And in setting there's witches when we see them in movies quite a lot. Ah. And then, and then, uh, and then there's something else. But yeah, bewitching. Yeah, and it's different. It's just, Magnus and Pagat, it's glamorized. Yeah. It feels a bit yeah. better. Because yeah. these numbers are literally like, hey. It's like saying a and angels. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. I live here. Come look at me. No, you can't be here. You, the government is supposed to take you back home, sweetie. Sweetie. <laughs> sweetie, time is up. <laughs> time is up, sweetie. But anyway, that was an interesting conversation. But we've got a lot more going on. So we're going to try to get through it as quickly as possible, of course. Um, we've got our brothers and sisters or the leading party in South Africa right now. They had a manifesto at Moses Mabida. Uh, how is it leading? Uh, the ruling. The ruling. Say the so, current so, ruling. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's don't say leading. The, the, the current. Yeah, the, uh, the current. Uh, government. The current government. Yeah. Gosh, gosh. Basically. They had, had their a, manifesto launch. In Devin. In, in Devin. Same Moses place as Mabida. EFF. Same place as the EFF. Okay. And now, how did that go? I mean, I saw Uram, Uram is saying a few things and they're promising jobs, of course. Yeah, I saw even who's uh, Minister Gwede Mantaj. Yes. He was saying some other things to oh, oh, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, but it's not his ANC because a lot of people are saying Cyril's ANC. Okay. Yeah, I see. But I don't think he was saying it in a bad way. For he sure, was just yeah. clarifying. Because he knows Abanyabantu won't vote for ANC because it's Cyril's AMC, course, ANC. Yeah, 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 so it's yeah, like, yeah. no, 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 no. He, he found it here. He's going to leave it here. It's interesting that the ANC is not in our top trending hashtags uh, or topics, actually. Um, it's still the other parties that come up. And we know that when EFF did theirs, it was a... It was big. It was big. It was big, it was big, big, big. It was huge, which was interesting. But anyway, I saw that there was quite a lot of youth in some of the photos that were people that were going to uh, support the ANC. So of course, bribed. Of course, of course. But And the t-shirts they were wearing, I mean, how do all of them have all the t-shirts every time? And they're so clean. They're brand new, right? But it's always interesting in our politics in our politics and like we always say, come a time to vote, we see these things happening. Uh, so yeah, that's the conversation that's happening right now. You guys let us know what you think. And then of course football happened. Football happened like 
I, I don't watch football. I just heard people screaming at the camp. <laughs> Your neighbors are like, yeah. I was like, damn, what's happening? <laughs> I, bro, I was ready with my sagila. <laughs> That's the only weapon I have. I was like, yo, I went to so I'm paying the sagila. But I, I think it's the Chelsea fans because the Chelsea fans m- kept on missing. They had all the opportunities and they lost. Liverpool won. Liverpool I won, yeah. 1 0. Yeah. 1 0, yeah. Mm. Um, I'm not going to lie. Personally, uh, Chelsea were robbed um, of an offside. They said uh, they were offside. That was total robbery. They, I think they, their whole game, I'm not a Liverpool fan. I hate them, in fact. And sorry for that word. But I hate them because I'm a Manchester United fan. But Chelsea was robbed. But anyway, they won. Virgil van Dijk obviously scored for them. They are captain. Uh, Virgil. But yeah, there was a Carabao Cup. Uh, nobody cares about it, but Liverpool were celebrating. Like, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? I thought it was a Carabao. <laughs> Carabao <laughs> Cup. It's like it's like winning. It's not even no, not the Netbank Cup. It's like winning. What's Netbank the? Cup is big, bro. It's big. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Big. that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. Carabao is like. I don't know. Like you're not supposed to celebrate the FA Cup. Maybe you can celebrate the FA Cup. Okay. But the Carabao Cup, ish. Liverpool supporters, anyway. And and actually, Klopp is not leaving this season to those Liverpool fans who are just so worked up, thinking like they have to do everything. You're not going to win everything this season, guys. Carabao Cup happened, but Yolanda, the hot tickler, Ubani lawyer. Yolanda was a big brother, big brother Mzansi. There's a lot of action Why there. Why she but... called the hot tickler? Because she was telling all my daughter. Yeah, yeah, she's. She, we are about <laughs> 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 Hey, but bro, there's a lot of action this season. Like in terms so, of Kunomchi <laughs> Tonga Tone Sembula, he's got two hands. Oh, oh man. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, what do you mean he's got two hands? Firstly, what do you mean he's got two hands? Bro, I, I saw this on Twitter. Like, Ujola, no, nabo, I, on the show. Talk. I don't know if Ujola Nabo Rupi is in Nabo because. There's, I think it's a <laughs> <situation>. <laughs> uh, good no Yeah, good no <laughs> 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 I think there is that happening. This guy Bamboni Salale Nabo boy too. He was in the middle. Is this, is this live on television? Yeah, yeah, live on television, my G. No. That's what I'm saying. This season they were like, guys, if you don't have action, you are gone. Now about Cherry Bam Tanda, we go to like the ba ba ba. It's the money. What's the money? No, no, no. I get on the money. Oh, Bazo Toli Mali at the end. So they are doing it for the money for the. Oh, okay. How much is it? The mill, two mill, two mill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cloud. Okay. They doing it for anything that. Anything for the cloud. You you have to. You no, can't no, just no, be basic. No, you can't have to. You, you can't, can't have be basic. I've, I've seen people doing some nasty things. Two hundred moon engine, lapu moon. Fun knowledge here a concert in the one that was dancing with that artist on stage. Oh my leg. Who does that, bro? And she was justifying what hey, I bought the ticket. You don't do that. What? Apparently she said she bought the tickets and she said they talked about it. Which if Omale says come to me, I'm my man, she was pay- mm. Lord Jesus. I hope homie is single. It's pretty probably I think she homie took- is still there, homie. You're not invited to the next man's <laughs> concert. <laughs> But I feel sorry for the gent. I feel sorry for the lady too. I think it was just a situation that happened. Yeah. yeah. I don't feel sorry for the lady. For the lady. Yeah, I don't. She knew what she was doing. So I is it, would, would I, imagine now ish who's my crush? Alicia Keys. I think I would do that. I, I can't do that. I would never. Either. If I'm with my lady, there's no crush. She in fact peggy look at the Yeah. Bro, as soon as you're in a relationship, crushes must be gone. You must crush your crushes. But have you noticed that women have crushes? Men don't have crushes. They're not allowed to have crushes. Oh, yeah, our crushes are only when we are as boys. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> you're at home, you're like, but, but she can tell you, ooh, that's been my crush. Ooh. And you're like, how wins that? I mean, I'm not crush. I can Hey, it crazy. Chief C is Dalila. No, net pen caps are Dalila. Okay, the net bank up. Net bank up has started. And Kaiser Chief So Flames. So flames. They saw flames, bro. I think they need mum kisses funny or something. <laughs> they need something there, bro. Bro, they need to be paid in, uh, uh, on the pitch. Okay. I think oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what she yeah, does. Yeah. 50 run, 50 run. Bambala, bambala. Yeah. They lost to Milford FC. What's Mil who's Milford? In, is that a South African club? It's Milford. First division. Milford. Right? Milford. Mr. V. It's first division. Oof. Middle four. <laughs> First division. Okay, wait. Uh, a whole PSL team. How much do they these the guys get paid? Like two hundred k and stuff. Yeah. Nizosha Amachita. 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 
Ah, shout out to the boys. Yeah, shout Milford, out to Milford, Milford FC. FC. Shout, shout out. out to you guys. You really, really did well. Um, that is uh, the Net Bank Cup, which has obviously started a really, really exciting competition. And we know that a lot of talent always comes out of the, yeah. um, the future talent of South Africa. So shout out to Net Bank. Shout out to everybody, in fact, shout involved out, in this. Yeah. I know the last one, there was a lot of work by Net Bank just invested in finding the talent and being involved in just the people. So I yeah. hope it's the same kind I of think, energy. I think it's a great initiative, is, actually, yeah. from Net Bank. You, you give... Um, teams that don't get the recognition Richard. to be on that bigger stage. Oh, yeah, that By is. that, I mean playing against the biggest teams uh, in and South and Africa. We yeah, understand. For sure, yeah. And they stand a chance to win how much? I think it's like 7 million or something. Yo. Imagine as a, as a Kasi order. team who's but only 7 meter. Yo, that changes everything, right? Yeah, boy. Instantly so. Hey, shout out to the next Sporting guy. talent. Yeah, That's where I they're going to scout these yeah, players. Yeah, definitely. We know yeah, the future of South African football can also begin there and yeah. start... Uh, so shout out to that event. bank, man. Yeah, shout out to that bank. Pay us, mm-hmm. by the way. You say that bank. Is it net bank or that <laughs> bank? bank? Okay, <laughs> net bank. So we've got banks doing good things, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess maybe the sentiment or the, the what people are, are tweeting or how many tweets went out last how week? How many? How many went out last week? We have six point eight million, which is less than last last week because last week we we're in the seven mils, right? Yeah, so that's um, how many tweets went out last week. But the amount of people that tweeted uh, is 119,000, which is also a drop from last week, a 1% drop. Um, and then looking at the sentiment of the country, the negative, yeah. Hey, negative. Yeah, but it negative. has dropped compared to it's last dropped week. It's dropped by 6%. Yeah. yeah. For sure. But then the positive has also dropped. <laughs> by, is, 6%. by 6%. By 6%. <laughs> also. So I want oh, my positive and negative. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Abazaz. 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 But we know definitely, I mean, there's quite a lot happening in South Africa from the political space, just the mood definitely in the country. There's a lot going on. And I think we always say this negative sentiment is like, it's because people say those one or two words that are negative. But I think the sentiment generally is, has a bit of negativity generally in the country. Of course, we are a happy nation, but the negativity is quite high, especially during this time too. It's crazy because last week we know the ANC had their manifesto launch. Yeah. I think it was on Saturday. Yeah. But Mang Pega on the negative word cloud, ANC is actually in big. It's, it's the biggest the contributor letter, right? to the yeah. negative uh, sentiment. I think it's hard to have a conversation about politics without saying the ANC is useless. Um, with, ruthless, what? Useless. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ruthless too. We've seen some crazy stuff happening on there. But yes, the NC comes up as the biggest word in a negative word cloud. But and Yolanda I'm, is also there. Is it because she's a hot tickler? <laughs> <laughs> well, that I get this years about. That I get this years about. Of Yolanda. course. And then we see Congo coming up, Israel coming up, Gaza coming up. Um, which is obviously we know exactly what's happening in Congo with the war, and we covered it last week a little bit on it. But I think we again we're going to need a, a better expert on this. Uh, so if you are an expert on this conversation and exactly what's happening in Congo would be great. Like we saw in it was it Nigeria? We keep talking about Nigeria and Big Brother, where you know the youth said no more um, Big Brother. We want to focus on on the election, of course. Yeah. And, and I think that's you know such a big thing. So yeah, we need somebody just anyway to tell us about what's happening in Congo. And also the Gaza breakdown. I think, you know, social media um, lets us forget topics very quickly. Um, we, we don't really cover Gaza much anymore. It's almost like we've forgotten about Gaza. I see less images of, of what's happening in, in, in the, that side, actually. I don't know about you. I also haven't been seeing much. But like I said, even from the beginning, I didn't like um, viewing that content. Sure, because yeah. it's, it's heartbreaking. It's disturbing, you know what I'm course, saying? Yeah. 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 Uh, but, man, the war is still happening. Nothing has changed. Right? Yeah. Nothing has changed. I think Abandunji, they're now focusing on other things. For That's sure, why yeah. we have Congo coming up. Sure, yeah. Right? So good. Why are we looking at problems that are so far away from us when Congo is just It's yeah, just around us, of course. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's also just crazy that I don't see as much more images of kids that are under rubble, people crying or screaming anymore on my timeline. Um, I'm not seeing as much Congo, obviously, anymore. And we know that Elon said he's protecting, like, the, you know, not those images shouldn't really be there because it involves a lot of politics so it's like he's trying to protect yeah i think it's the algorithm also the reason why you are not seeing it because you probably didn't engage as much with it okay. so the algorithm is like now no, we're not no. serving it to cyril okay interesting i mean um yeah that's the negative word cloud and of, of course the, the 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 sentiment in the country but in the positive we're seeing bibi mzanzi as a big <laughs> positive big is and it, last week i think it was in the negative because of liema yeah yeah, What's happening now it's in the posi- I'm telling you, there's like it's tembu. There's, <laughs> there's a lot happening there right now, man. There's a lot of action. So, so, my phone is tembu. Big brother. I, I think 
I think uh, he kept very nice. That's Kotli Wang. That's Kotli Wang isn't this serious. It's <laughs> Kotli Very serious topics. But um, in the positive word cloud, we're seeing beautiful, happy, great. Yeah. Congratulations once again. We're seeing There's another one which is small. A small hashtag. I think it's a bundle hashtag. Ituba Kes. And we saw this last home. year. Yes. Yeah. They also gave away another home this past week. Interesting. Now that's the kind of stories we actually need. Yeah. Uh, especially at such a time. I mean, January people are normally don't have money, are strapped on certain things, don't know what to do with themselves, and here comes Ituba Kes. Ituba, Zaza. Shout out to them actually. And this is not the first time we cover them. I think yeah, they do. Yeah. It's not the first time we cover them, and they're doing amazing stuff. I did see a post about them, so yeah, shout out to it, Tuba Kes. And of course, the Queen is always here, the Queen of South Africa, the Queen of Africa. Kosetwala, yeah. Kosetwala is not leaving any trading topics. Nope. Is not leaving nope. any positive nope. word cloud, nope. anything like nope. that in South Africa. She keeps showing up. She man. keeps showing yeah. up, and a shout out to her. And of course, the busiest days. Please, could you break that down for us, bro? So the busiest day last week was actually Wednesday. Okay. Uh, with just over a million tweets. Wasn't that the same last week, actually? Uh, I think it was Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's somewhere there. Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. So what's happening this week? I mean, what are the words that are... are so so the words that uh, go with that is Big Brother Mzansi. I'm, I'm assuming something big happened on that Wednesday. Budget speech is also there. Okay, So yes. the budget speech was last week. Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, and that's a really important conversation. I mean, I think we that's a, we, we, oh, that's yeah. a big one because not a lot of things went up. I think the few levy didn't go up, okay, which is <laughs> thank <Great>. you, yeah. <laughs> but what I mean, we need somebody to break it down for us, and I think next week we actually just need me to break it down a little bit because these are topics and things. Um, that really affects South Africans and us as citizens, and I think, and I think it's good for us to be knowledgeable about, about these things. Yeah. But I think the syntax and alcohol tax went actually up, went yeah. up. Yeah. So that's cigarettes and alcohol, right? Okay. So that doesn't okay. affect me in any way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 When your, 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 your sober calendar says you've been sober for a hundred years <laughs> since you were born. <laughs> uh, but I'm seeing money here. Money talks. Money talks. Breaking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense, if nonsense, if not, like. <laughs> I think money is linked to the budget speech, actually. Sure. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So that's interesting. Before we divest again, it wasn't, wasn't it wasn't AKA's birthday not so long ago? I was seeing a lot of... Oh, uh, Ricky Rick. Ricky Rick. Was no, it his birthday oh, one, year, the since he passed. one yeah. year since he passed? Yeah, I think it's one year since he passed. Okay, yeah. Actually, I just thought I should actually... Last week. The whole of last week, week, actually, it was, it was Ricky. Yeah. RIP to the homie. Man. RIP to Ricky, man. I thought I should just bring that up while we're talking about it. All these things are coming up because there's so much happening on Twitter. Yeah. But of course, we, busy. Use, yeah, busy, we, busy. we use a tool called Brainwash, of course, to extract our stats and just talk about the top trading the top, stuff top, and yeah. what actually happens. So, yes, all this other stuff is trending and it's going on and might be trending on your timeline. But when you look at the whole of South Africa and what brands are using, um, they're using this tool here mm-hmm. to come you up. You might with. think that we hate us because <laughs> we didn't report because when are you were trending. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry but we yeah. didn't make it to the two yeah. but try again yeah next I think time. we might have made it to the yeah. top 100 probably but make we, it next week for sure yeah we, we cover the top five um and so yeah we're not biased to anybody we're not you know taking out anybody a lot of topics are definitely trending but we're covering the top five and the ones that we think have an impact in society and what we do uh so yeah let's go on to the busiest times so the busiest times in the morning it's 10 a.m followed by 9 a.m. Sure. And then in the evening, we have 8 p.m. followed by 9 p.m. Same time. It's a slight change. Yeah. Slight, slight change. Slight, yeah, slight. Yeah. Slight. yeah. yeah. Slight. yeah. 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 It's at certain times. What what happens now? Huh. Soccer. Yeah. It's it's like the whole day. <laughs> 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 it's what is the on camera? Yeah, right? yeah. I, on live. I think, so, huh? that, I think that guy, like, we're full of his team. Full of his team. I mean, I don't know, sure. man. With, with cameras around, I don't know if I'd I'd be as comfortable. Yeah, you understand? Yes. Yeah, what, what, two girlfriends on the show? No, if I was single. Sure, maybe. why not? Yeah. But I'm just saying, just to be watched by cameras the whole day. But you know, that's the thing of clout, right? I mean, everybody just wants to be seen and be part of clout. You do something, you trend and trade. Like, Skomot. Do you think Skomot are signed to say, I want to be famous? No, no, no. Skomot just happened to be around this you know what i'm saying but you know and you fame just found it no 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 but when you say there's cameras i just come out of even far from the camera what if baby cool man i but just come out and find a slow so far from the camera boys and the printing out anything like you say anything that's on camera you, yeah it's hard to believe it 
Okay. It's hard to believe. True. And also the other topic happening right now on Twitter is actually a lot of you guys are not supporting your friends when they have brand posts but you're supporting the celebrities and doing other things. So that's the other thing. People are not engaging with your friends' posts, but they're engaging with... Like our friends not watching our podcast. Our podcast, yeah. That happens all the time. Those friends, I'm looking at you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. And when I'm at your crib, I'm just going to play. I'm just going to press play. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, but you I mean, there's lots been happening. Um, I even lost train of thought. (laughs) It's all good. We can get into the top five trending topics then. Let's get to the top five trending topics, my brother. So what's happened? I mean, there isn't much difference again. But I'm enjoying what I'm seeing, right? Yeah. Uh, Because I see most of our conversations in the top five are around... uh, uh, politics. Yes, of course. So we're going into elections. Of this course. is good. This yeah, is good what I'm saying. Definitely. It's what we prophesized last week. Yes. And yes. it's actually happening this week. Yeah. Number five being Vote MK 2024. Great. Right? Yeah. Ah, Madala was talking. Jacob, <laughs> Zuma. Uh, I think the one thing that he was talking about is he brought up homophobia. Like he's going to. like. Yeah. That's not the platform, Baba. And it's also, I, someone said that they always somehow just in, involve the LGBTQI. Why? It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. What the child, Utu Duzani's party, is going to support uh, the LGBTQ community. Yeah. But the dad is like, we need to get rid of this, like, all yeah, well, those kind of things. things. There's yeah. a disconnect. It's there's a, a disconnect new world in cool. Yeah, it's a new you world. You know what yeah. I'm saying? There's a lot, so there's a lot that Don't come say. with your, uh, not in a bad way, yeah, apartheid thinking. Sure, yeah. We are not... Uh, strategizing to fight we are building sure yeah we, we are not fighting yeah, we are sure. building um speaking of that i mean um just the mk we know that of course we are voting on the 29th of may or election date uh, it's been set um and there's a lot obviously happening we're seeing mk coming up quite a lot in our trending topics this, this is probably like the fourth week in a row now but there's three things that he also touched on. I mean, I don't, I don't, Amazon, I don't think they were on Twitter. I believe mean, my on Facebook, <laughs> or something else. Because, I mean, where is MK getting all the support on Twitter? A platform that's generally an affluent market, but, if you want to say. But Zooms, this is a new party, and, and it's targeted at the older generation. The sure. older generation is not on Twitter, Okay, right? yeah, yeah. People get paid to tweet about certain things. Sure. People get paid to use hashtags. Yeah. Hashtags get hijacked. Of right? course, all the time. And yeah. probably let vote MK2024. Some people that are using it are pushing their businesses. Actually, you know, I think a lot of people, when they report things, they put the top trending hashtags all the time. You're yep. right. Yep. Hijackers. So it might be a bit skewed, but there's three things that I want to talk about that he addressed. Sure. Right? The first one was around teenage pregnancy. Yes. So Ubaba uh, it's a it's a pandemic in teenage pregnancy. It's a yeah, case. I, I don't usually uh, we understand. Noguti is gonna build a university at Robin Island where he's gonna take these uh, teens. Robin Island. Robin Island chief. Eh? In another country. So well, like Cape is another country. You also take Yes, where teens. Mandela was. Where Mandela was playing with his rocks. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to take kids there to school. And build a school there. So this a, a, a university a, Oh, 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 a university. These are school among my twelve year olds, and then you talk about building a university. I but a university. A university, Baba. I think uh, they they should have adjusted your speech a yeah, bit. A bit yeah. And then the second one is around corporal punishment. And it must come back because when we were growing up, our parents were strict. That's why we are the way we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the people who say we all deserve to go to yeah. war. Hey, man. And the kids shouldn't call p- uh, cops upon their parents. Eh? Yep. I mean, well, well, they should. I mean, some parents are just nasty parents. I mean, they certain things. Yep. You might have to call your parents. For. Yep. And I think Ukshaya, Ukshaya now is relative. I think like, you know, now it's gotten done. But in, if you want to take off the shoe, I mean, we know that's yep. that's a universal rule. Your mom yep. takes, she doesn't have to hit yeah. you, but she yeah. takes out the shoe. You know, you know. Yeah, what's you about know. to go down. Yeah. The third one is free education. I mean, he had the opportunity to do all of this. He things. didn't. And, uh, during his time. Yes, during his time. And he was there for what? Two, two, um, two terms. Is, two terms. Yeah. So we're just like eight years time. or something like that? Yeah. That's crazy. So we're always seeing all these politicians, of course, promising us things just before the election, saying all this bogus stuff. And it's always interesting in obviously coming back and seeing what they do years later. We know, of course, know the ANC is also going through under the same thing. But, you know, I've, I'm realizing a lot of people are 
looking at parties based on their manifesto. So they'll tell you, yo, it's lies. The manifestos is the lies. The NC's manifesto is on point. Yeah. It's on point. It's I see lies. them. I see them. It's for the black people. Did you see DA Yonipu Mea Din? They're gonna scrap the PE thing. They're gonna scrap it entirely. They're gonna scrap the PE what? Yes. So lend your good um employee equity at work, you need more black people, like yeah. you must align with the population of the country, all those kind of things. When you look at I mean that's that's a crazy statement. When you look at the unemployment rate right now, who's the most unemployed? So um I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Mfilangati PE has benefited the people that it benefited. benefited of course, yeah, yeah, definitely. And some workspaces have black people that don't even do their work, Oof. especially in government, oh, course, um, yeah, yeah. government posts, government yeah. positions. Yeah, you understand. You go to the traffic department; they don't help you. You go to the court; they treat you like shit. Yeah, I don't like true. that. Yeah, so rather true. they hire people that are skilled for that role, not because you are black. Yeah, I, I'm not. Don't think I'm. A, <laughs> what do they call? Um, what's it? Woke blacks, what? Yeah, you're woke black. Yeah, is it woke? <laughs> yeah, you're woke black. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. No, we're not that. But I think we need to understand, Ugoti, when you are in a certain position, you need to work to be there. You can't just sure, be yeah. there because of your skin. For color. the growth of the country and yeah, the growth, the growth of everybody of else. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Politics is a huge thing Massive. in South Africa. Yeah, uh, we think number five, of course. We said I'm not, I didn't say I'm gonna vote for the DA. Yeah. I was just sharing my view. <laughs> <laughs> just had to clarify that. But at number four, we have another party. Hey, vote EFF. EFF. Yeah, and they've got uh, hashtag vote EFF. EFF. Yeah, with fourteen thousand mentions and three hundred fifteen million impressions. Mm. That's crazy. Um, again, another political party coming up, and Malema again, obviously, is somehow at the center sure. of this. Sure. Zoom, can you see exactly what I'm talking about? Look at the impressions for Vote MK2024 and look at Vote EFF. Look at just the impressions. Yeah, 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 38 yeah, 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 and 315 yeah, yeah, million. They bought those people. They definitely did. They did. 315 million. Yep. That's quite a lot. And then we have at number three, hashtag NC Let's Manifesto go. Lodge. Yeah. With 15K mentions and 1.2 billion impressions. Mm. Oh. So the ANC surely should be like, okay, they won't be because they're not really mentioned. But I think this, probably the second biggest impressions after the EFF when they did their manifesto launch. And obviously, obviously there was bigger talk um, on the EFF conversation manifesto launch. Uh, for anybody who's got information on what happened in the ANC manifesto launch, would definitely love a little bit of a deep dive um, on what was said on there. Because again, these are, this is important information that we all need to know. And then Ulai my pants. I mean, I miss Ulai my pants. Ulai. Yeah, Ulai. At number two. Number two, with twenty-five thousand mentions and fifty million impressions. I think Ulai my boy, I'm turned up, I'm turned. Like, uh, we attitude. In terms of issue, but we're not going attitude. Okay, I think yeah. Papa Ghost Vele is gone. But I think Uzoham. I think you're right. The, who did you say the two people are that I might win? Zintle Z. Yeah. And and Liam. Liam my pants. And you know, it's so crazy when we talk about. The ca- I sorry zooms, I'm cutting I just remembered the guy with him, yeah. Gerard. <laughs> Gerard. <laughs> Imagine having a name like that in his team. Man. <laughs> is he a black guy? Is he a black guy? He's a, he's a black guy. It's his Ah. Who's Wika? Gerard. <laughs> you must be a Vosi. Vosi yeah. Moose. Yeah. Yeah. Who's a cat? <laughs> Into a dog. Into a Police. Oh, we are not making too late. We are born. He come and listen. Yeah, he is. 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 Yeah, he um the social media landscape during such a time um you know but it's gonna end just before elections start do you think this could possibly have been done purposefully again because i mean uh does big really. brother always happen at this time yes. right after the pb titans yes, yes. It, it happens always at this time because you remember last year mustala we started with pb titans yeah where kosi twala was part, Reading, of, yeah. part of it yeah yeah uh so i think it happens twice a year so it's going to be this one. Once this one ends, you're calling, I think, in June. Yeah. No, I mean, could be Niger, could be Titans. Yeah. Because we've realized that Bibi Mzansi 
trends one two and three or the topics around it are always in our top trending hashtags in south africa um so yeah that leads us to our number one of course which is bb mzansi bb mzansi with 236 yeah yeah uh, with 236 000 mentions and 873 million impressions so it shows again a lot of people are seeing the hashtag bb mzansi and interacting with them like i said i probably said a hundred times during the day even more than that yeah, yeah. And more people trend, but they just don't make it to this list. Of course, of course yeah. I saw him trend last week. Of course. I think if you look at our top 10 and top 20, we're going to see a lot of BBM Zansi. So, yeah, once again, for brands, get involved with BBM Zansi. Um, for politicians, I don't know if this is a good time for you to be using BBM Zansi to distract us. But what I'm loving is what I saw last week, KMs. KM, KMs apparently, well, tricked. Some people say tricked tricked she's the, the number one youtuber in south africa some people say um she got the youth to vote so i think they she like i don't know what she did i think she used a link to say buy my product or check something and the youth clicked and they voted and she showed screenshots of like oh chomi i'm so glad i voted oh thanks chomi i wasn't going to vote, vote oh, for chomi. what for bb no to re- no to register, oh, to, register, to, register to vote, to vote. Yeah, yeah. yeah to register to vote so anyway that's just something that i saw last week just of an influence of well someone. done to her yeah well done to her. during such a time where pbm sense is trending number one but we've got politics going on right now which is a big conversation so anyway shout out to kms i thought i should she mustn't pick sides no no no, she just said, guys, register to vote. I think it was the last day. She just said, register, doesn't matter who it is. And it showed a huge influence. Uh, brands, if you are actually um, looking at people, I mean, that was something crazy. That's proper influence right That's there. That's proper influence yeah. right there. Uh, but yeah, those are the top trending hashtags, Benjam. Nice, nice. We're uh, done with it. We're now done. we're looking at the, the rich kids. We're looking rich at kids the, of them, <laughs> <laughs> the ones who are keeping the economy. <laughs> they the going to going to going yeah? the economy. <laughs> Konka is closing, uh-huh. but another one is opening. Uh, my Maguben Jalo is being supported. These are the guys that are keeping. And are they in the yeah, VIP section? In January, the guys that are polling. The polars, yeah. the polars. Ace of Spades is going because. Damn. Who keeps like Zalupu the ace? The, 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 the babies are, are eating. Are eating. They want central pay because Ooh. the polars they Ooh. spend, my man. Ooh. Okay. But okay. the is young as again. I go pick up my polars. She comes at number five, um, as the um, top most uh, mentioned in yeah. south africa so so good lay just to break it down for the people that yeah. don't understand so this section will look at the people that are are tagged the most you understand yeah. maybe you're saying at destiny z please buy me electricity yeah it, it pulls that so how many times did people tag you in the past week and say at at so and so i love you at hey social yeah Guban, <laughs> someone in the top ten, top five. <laughs> no, 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 no. Man, from ten to mad, even Guman is mad. Oh, I'm not even born in mad. Okay, now you in the corner. Just say I love you. We finish ten. I can't believe the NC is actually making this money. Yeah. yeah, so it's interesting. Destiny is coming at number five with 14,000 well mentions and 104 million impressions. Mm, that's money. I tweeted this, and I know we obviously know this. I'm seeing a photographer, and take your sub, man, nigga. If that guy does not post a- anything about photography anymore. He posts about clickbaity stuff. He posted about that girl's art, the, the, the girl who's got weird art. Everybody is doing it for clickbait money. Mm. Twitter has completely changed to me. Um, everybody's doing it for impressions. And it's kind of sad. It's clickbaity. Yeah, very clickbaity. But yeah, Destiny Z coming at number five. She, she provides obviously the funny stuff. And uh, you know when they're doing this, ne? they're going to update the algorithm. And they're also going to change the structure, the revenue structure. It's going to be tough for them to get impressions. Anymore, yeah. It, it's gonna, they're going to make it more difficult. Because it's becoming too easy right now. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, but yeah. I it hope. was the same thing with um, uh, legacy verifications. Remember, a lot more people were finding ways to get verified. Even like, <laughs> hey, dumbass accounts were getting Dude, verified. everybody was getting verified. So Elon was like, let's verify everyone then. Yeah, and but, make them pay for it. But it's interesting how I mean, you can just make a little bit of money straight from that platform, from cloud chasing. Because what's happening right now, I think it's okay. I think, you know, I hate it, but I love it at the same time. Because it's like, might as well. Like, we always see who the hash is Jenny. Who, I mean, who uh, has Jenny and who the F is make always coming up. And they mentioned in South Africa and they're not even from South Africa. So I think, yeah, I mean, generally open, a, open an account that's got uh, clickbaity and just make your money. We always talk about this, that we say that becoming a millionaire is not 
from sometimes from the nine to five. It's from those small little things. It's from that, the dirty job. Yeah, where everybody back saying about yeah. you're paying and you're verified. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're yeah. some money. So I was listening to Dyer of a CEO and the guy that was there was talking about like businesses in the UK. Good tea, how Oh wow! And us, the younger generation, which is the millennials, yeah. And so we're the too old right now. Uh, we are not baby boomers, I it. I was so baby, boom. baby boomers. I think it's the generation just after us. They are Abon, in their late forties, oh, okay, okay, somewhere okay. up. Or the internet age, guys. No. Uh, what they, do you mean by internet? The, age? the baby boomers. They were during the internet stage, or they were they were part of the internet. When the internet yes, when up. the internet was was rising, Public. the dot com uh, yeah, yeah, era time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, labo. But ah, even the petrol and business were plumbing oh, and wow. all those okay, businesses yeah. that make money that we, as the younger generation, don't want to be involved in. We want these shiny, shiny jobs. Of course, and yeah. And we are sure, buti. We need to start getting more involved in those. Like, find a way to say to those guys, "Yo, how can I contribute to your business? Help it grow, and then." I'll take it over for you. You'll still make money and find a way. Is it just a, negotiate. Is it the guy that deal. talks about the, from hundred dollars to like? Yeah, a million, I shared that link. Yeah, with you. Yeah. I even finished it. Quite yeah. a dope, um, dope interview on a diary. Smart, business. smart so, guy. Yeah, definitely check it out. All right, so we deviated a little bit there. Um, at number four, we've got my ANC. My ANC, <laughs> they're getting paid. At my ANC, Imagine, yeah, the looters, the looters, the are, getting looters paid, are getting yeah. paid. I wonder. I mean, we did probably say this is going to like the digital team or something yeah, like that. But their account is already on miners. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, but I'm actually buying for other things. If I'm a teacher, for campaigning, for campaigning, for campaigning, for campaigning. So yeah, they've got eighteen thousand mentions and seventy-nine million impressions coming in at number four in South Africa, the most mentioned. And at number three, the Sakul Mangai, who the um, who, who the, the F, F is Nick, Nick, yeah, with twenty-one thousand mentions and forty-one million impressions. And we all know who the hell is Mick is not from SA, mm. but his tweets or her tweets are liked so much, Woody. They have a lot of traction here, and people here start adding Uland or who the F is Mick. It's so interesting. I mean, when we, if we had to go deeper and start to be woke about it, you think of the economy. You're like, hmm, couldn't there be South Africans here? He's a here? digital nomad. He's a, he's a, yeah. Because <laughs> it's tapping into our economy, it is, but it's yeah, not bringing the taxes. Contributing. Well, it's not our economy. Well, it's trending here, actually. He's taking it away from us, to be honest. Uh, but this is this is not the first time. Who Could the be Africa. someone else that's getting paid. What do you mean? It, it could be a South African that's oh, getting using, paid. Using the no, F is make. good number three. It could have been a South African, African. but it's somebody else. F is make. Yeah, we, we know have understand. South African so someone sure. is not becoming a Muregi because of me. They said so the Soweto economy is actually not thriving because of them. <laughs> because of me. By a car, the Soweto proof. I'm not going to get it. Because of me. Anyway, the F is make coming at number three. Then we've got MDNS News, another yeah. one who's consistency. Consistency yeah. here. Uh, 23,000 mentions and 117 million impressions. And we know they just constantly bring us news, yeah, news. whether it's fake, whether it's yeah. real, but we're getting a lot of news. Mostly, mostly I think it's real. Yeah. Well, what I've been seeing, it's it's some real stuff. I yeah. don't know. Maybe some people beg to differ, sure. but I've been seeing some real stuff Positive from, from stuff, them. Yeah. So shout out, man. Shout out for sure. News 24 yeah. sometimes doesn't even have don't, these news. Don't you have to subscribe to these guys also? Hey, like you back to my subscription. Hey, back to my subscription. It's annoying. You want to read an article, subscribe. Yo, I am mean, about the in news. In there, but if you're supposed to tell us about what a the public speech is saying, we need to know this but anyway anyways yeah i mean we're seeing a lot of people opening up um twitter accounts or x accounts that are about, about news and yeah. about memes yeah a lot of people are doing that and, and it could open. be it, it could even be journalists from of course from these uh of course big uh media houses which would be smart right yes to, to say hey, let me share the story because some people don't have access to subscribe i don't know how even how much that subscription is sure and some of the news um it will make it on the newspaper but then, uh, you know, maybe not everybody's get the newspaper. And it will also make it on their digital platform, but nobody's subscribed. But you're just like, hey, let me spill the other news that doesn't make... That would be smart for making some money, man. Journalists. Uh, yeah. Hey, I hope you listen. Anyone can be a journalist on X. I mean, all you have to say is allegedly at the end, don't you? True. <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> well, they do. They, just, they say anything and then they say allegedly. <laughs> so that they don't get sued. <laughs> 
<laughs> literally, that's what everybody says. <laughs> I think that's why we shouldn't play the same thing. We say anything, we say allegedly. Yeah. Mm. So, F number one is Chris X and allegedly. Oh, the most toxic yeah. Yeah, in the world. In the whole world. The galaxy. Um, yeah. not, 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 not Even more. aliens know those guys. <laughs> On a first name basis. <laughs> I swear to God, I think Elon and this guy are best friends. They are the most toxic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I thought I saw him at the SpaceX launch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, he comes in at number one. Chris, at Chris Axel 102 with 29,000 mentions and 159 million impressions. Nice. And all I can say is that I know the Chris Axel account thrives on porn and obviously other things. <laughs> <laughs> on the real, dude. These guys, they are so <laughs> clickbaity. They like so clickbaity on everything. Hey, but he jabs, this guy. Eh? <laughs> jabs. This guy is so, his jabs are hard. Sometimes I don't want to laugh, but I end up laughing. <laughs> like, Chris, is, yeah, he Chris is, is bad, man. But a lot of people are always like curious about him because they think his party, like he's involved in politics and he's a well-known figure and blah, blah, blah. And hence why he can say what he says. If anybody knows, when's that Chris no Chris Excel? People were saying it's an they've old white him. man. No, it's not. They've they've exposed him before. Oh, what to Chris is somewhere from the Eastern Cape. Um, is there there's a, a lot more. I don't know. Is but there's a dweeb a... or not? <laughs> <laughs> You're not a dweeb. Is <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What's a dweeb? <laughs> yeah. hey, I don't want to call people names. What dweebs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it means. It's a dweeb. What? A weirdo? You're such a dweeb. <laughs> I know that in school, white kids used to say that to us. You're such a dweeb. Like, yeah. Because you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why you being <laughs> I don't know what a dream is, but yeah, anyway. Who Chris X now? So you think it's from the Northern Cape somewhere there? Uh, no, 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 Eastern, Eastern Cape. Cape. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Where I didn't they? say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I didn't say anything. Uh, shout out to my closet people. Love you all so much. Uh, but shout that's out to who's the guy that owns my closet. Latuma. Latuma. Uh, ah, shout out to Latuma. Latuma. Um, yeah, those are the top trending most mentioned people in South Africa. Yeah. Chris Excel coming at number one. And that's everything for the week except for the ad of the week. Yeah, that's everything for the week. Do you have your ad of the week? I don't have an ad of the week uh, this week. I haven't seen much. But before we go to the ad of the week, I want to just share the news of a new Benny Tavern owners. Uh, they were ordered to pay 5,000 Rand fine. Uh, Only. All for 100 days. Um, or face 100 days in prison. What's 5,000 to a tavern owner? Dude. And, uh, and, uh, you know, and I believe what happened there, I think they, the, the, the teenagers firstly were in there, or underage kids were in there. And there should be a bigger fine just for that. 5,000 rand. So I thought I should just share that news and what's currently happening right now. And that's some crazy. Right, they know the other. right people. They definitely must know the right people. I mean, how are you getting away with something? Uh, so criminal. Did uh, they take his um, liquor license? No, they just haven't said anything like that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, Anyways. Um, before we go on, you shared some things with me on Twitter also. Before we go I, to the I shared live. a couple of things, actually. I shared, I shared a couple, but I normally share funny stuff with you. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you did definitely share the Tuba case, which we spoke about. A really, really interesting one. Um, and we talked about, maybe let's cover this quickly before we get to end of the week. The top 10 things that define Africans. You send me that one. Number one is urinating behind the toilet. True. That's a fact, especially guys. Uh, of course. Um, wife sleeping next to the wall. Because uh, uh, close to the door. You have course, to be close yeah. to the door. Yeah, keeping the broom behind the door. <laughs> True. <laughs> so True. When you get rich, people say, when you get old, you It's time witch. to be black and rich. Hey, dude, what's up, Dad? I'm going to get to ash. She's a witch. I don't know. I'm going to get to ash. When you take a bath, they will ask if you are going somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Uh, keeping some plates and cups and spoons aside. Spacing I know. My grand used to do that. That's and okay. those visitors never came. Who are those visitors? <laughs> Mandela. I, I guess. The bro. It never happened. Uh, counting pieces of meat. <laughs> I'm making sure it's Angaliak Baba. Damn straight. Uh, non natural death in Africa. So your uh, enemy yeah. is your it's curse. Witchcraft. It's always witchcraft. Yeah, yeah. And at number 10, you obviously got to count your money when it comes out the ATM. True. Yeah, maybe be bad. So, yeah, those are Is the it an African thing, though? Some I think of everyone should count their money. Yeah, I mean, yes. That one, maybe you, you should. But I mean, you know, as 10, be like, hey, hey, hey. Maybe yeah. bad. But yeah, those are the 10 things that define us. It's <laughs> found them really funny. Thanks for sharing. You're yeah. dating behind the door. Totally. Definitely, Damn. that's one. Uh, let's, yeah, please share the end of the week and then just take it from there. So, end of the week is actually um, Ellen Gray. 
Okay. Right. There's a there's a ad that they put out in December, uh, and the campaign is around everything comes around. <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything comes around. Everything comes around. Yes. Okay. They even got um I think uh an award at the Creative Circle, first in film. Oh, nice. Okay. So we'll drop the link. Yeah. To Actually, it's about long-term investment. Have, right? I, seen, have I seen this ad before? The, the ad is quite straightforward, but very beautiful. Okay. Like, the film is so beautiful. Yeah. This guy is, um, is a is a saxophone or Trump or whatever. A saxophone is possibly, yeah. A saxophone yeah. is, could be. The guy um, who wrote that yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was quite young when he started. He didn't get as much traction. Only when he gets older. They call him back to come perform, and everyone gives him such a great um, um, uh, what's this? Applause. Applause. Yeah. And the reception was amazing. You understand? So yeah. it's all about long term investment. In the ah, beginning, it might look like sure. all no this hard cares. work for nothing. Yeah. But at the end, it will come back tenfold. It will be worth it. Yeah. And people will be clapping for you. Young time. So they basically say that they obviously. Um, want us to go with them yeah no, i mean it sounds, it sounds like it's compound interest, it's compound interest. Actually, guys, in that I, advert i'm sure these guys are similar to uh, their ads sound similar to the investec ad investec adverts to some degree yeah i think once you get into that wealth space investment space they they start to all look alike similar, it's just yeah. retelling that story in a more meaningful way but sure. if you were to put all of them together against each other you'd probably see the same message at the end for sure yeah we'll definitely put this down shout out to alan gray and i think the advert is called um accenture song uh no 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 that's the agency that's accenture the agency. song is the agency okay. everything comes around is the is the campaign is the the ad, oh, yes whatever. everything yeah, yeah. comes around okay cool so we'll definitely put a link on this below you guys check it out too had a different out of the week last week and the week before and if you guys are seeing some kick-ass ads happening put right now, put them in the comments. Put them in the comments and yeah. let us know to them. Um, we know that South Africa is well known for uh, amazing adverts. We need to call it ad expert. Yeah. Or maybe a panel discussion around like some of the some best ads, ads right? maybe from 2023. Oresti. Huh. I think we need to speak to Oresti. Okay. I think let's do that. For sure. He's a passionate dude in, in the advertising in space. In the advertising industry, for he's sure. He's got a lot of knowledge. He's been in the a- industry for years. And we, only don't, we, all, we don't only have him. Yeah. I mean, we know quite a few more. people. Yeah. There's a lot of You don't want to mention that name. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you guys we, will see them. We don't name drop, man. We don't name drop. Yeah, but yeah. You, I think you did earlier on, didn't you? You asked this person the question on the podcast. Who's you, that you, person? Did you not look at him? Him? Yeah. Hmm. No, no, you didn't ask me. Who did I ask? Okay, no, never mind. I'm oh, not, mm. oh, with yeah. the tie. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I did. Oh, exactly. But you the man. You, you mentioned his name. The the man. Yeah. The man with the tie. Yes. Hey, the man with the tie doesn't want to come here. <laughs> and this man worked on something big. Eh? Yeah. yeah. What we should talk about. Earlier. Yeah. Kaiser Chiefs losing. Oh yeah. Mm, that cup. Oh, that cup. Mm, with the bank. With that brand. Yeah. Okay. He's the man. I mean, we would love to definitely have him on here. But anybody else who has got some knowledge on ads would definitely would love to. Have you and I just break down some ads? Like we said, South Africa is known for ads, and we know we've got some amazing creative teams everywhere else. So, shout out to Ad of the Week uh, by Alan Gray. Is that everything, my nigga? That's everything, my dude. Should we wrap it up and say ciao? Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. That's ciao, ciao. <laughs> I always feel like we're forgetting something, but all we know, that, oh, something is always trending. Even right now, something is trending. Uh, but shout out to you guys. Shout out to uh, our sponsors, of course, uh, Color Space. And Color shout space out to, um, to us. <laughs> and <laughs> us. <laughs> and us, of course. Uh, don't forget Brand Watch, but and us, of course. And shout out to you guys for listening. We love you guys lots. Keep listening. Keep commenting. And we know that we've been missing a couple of episodes, actually, on Spotify and um, Apple Podcasts. So we'll definitely be uploading the previous episodes and this one too. Uh, but I'll check you guys on the next episode from Umshuti Abashuti. It's been great. See you guys next week. Peace. And your boy Lebohan. Ciao.